in Gold Shores, Alabama, celebrating Stalin, All Hallows Eve, would seem to be sort of a weird place to be celebrating Stalin. And it kind of is, but um, the beach is beautiful and the water is good and we're practically in the condo that we rented in the whole condo it's only a few people here it almost seems like a ghost town so it seems very apropos in a way well Solomon it is the season that we honor our ancestors uh, we honor the those who have gone on who have elevated who help us, I believe, from the other side. Solomon somehow brings me to the point of, you know, honoring, honoring the dead, which we're doing. And it helps, as I think of it, 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 I won't say it helps, but I do think about death. Even my own death, as a, a matter of fact. Um, I work with death every day. I'm a hospice nurse. And one of the things that I say that I do is walk people to the veil. And during Samhain, it is supposed to be the time that it's the, the veil is its at its thinnest. Um, and if you believe, I believe death is life, but in another dimension. It's the beginning of life in another dimension is what I believe. And then I believe our honored dead uh, elevate the ones we choose to work with. And they elevate at certain levels and they carry on that wisdom. And when you interact with them, there is this exchange. And that is what I feel with my ancestors this exchange of the wisdom that they gained um, both in the land of the living and in the land that is spiritual, they've gained even more wisdom. So when you've taken the time to tap in to that ancient wisdom because you've connected with your ancestors, you become a powerful person. And I think the first thing to connect is to believe that that is possible. So many people, and that's why, you know, I feel like a lot of Christians and other people believe um, that what we do spiritually is demonic or something when you don't practice, you know, normal Christianity or whatever. They'll say that it's demonic because really what happens is an exchange, a wisdom exchange, when you honor, recognize your ancestors and your honored dead for all the wisdom they've gained and knowledge that they have gained through lifetimes, and you tap into that wisdom, how powerful are you when you can receive downloads from them? Yeah. And I feel like even, you know, if you've practiced <laughs> For a little while, you begin to tap into that knowledge, and the longer you practice, you come, you become privy. You get to tap into that ancient wisdom that they accumulated over lifetimes, um, and then it makes you wonder why nobody wants you to really, you know, uh, I'll say muggles don't want you to tap into that knowledge and that wisdom because you become a very wise person. And a wise person is a very powerful person. So I suggest you do spend time getting to know, honoring them, exchanging. And how do you exchange information with your honored dead, with your ancestors? It's through meditation. It's taking the time to listen. And you listen when you get yourself quiet. And you don't deny the downloads that you receive because you're really tapping in and receiving information. And the next thing I've learned is that, you know, once you leave that meditation spot or that spot of listening and hearing and exchanging 
once you leave that and come back to your mundane life, you can forget that information. So I always suggest to write down what you hear. I have a beautiful butterfly that's flew in here. Write down what you hear and what you're getting um, when you receive that exchange of information. Now, I'll, how do you tap in? Listening and being quiet and hearing, that's part of the meditation. Writing down what you're getting and receiving. Accepting that that is worth the exchange. That accepting what you hear and accepting that it's possible for you to hear. And then taking that knowledge and working with it, running with it, knowing it, and experiencing it. And that is the exchange. But first, you must um, bust old mindsets that this is impossible, that this is demonic, and all of those. You have to bust old mindsets first to even tap into that type of wisdom and power. So those were just my thoughts today. Take the time while the veil is thinnest, that is at its thinnest, to stop, to listen, to document so that you can go back over it, to believe that what you're hearing, you're hearing, and it is possible for you to get this exchange and use the information for your highest good. Happy Solomon. Take care. Bye-bye.